Hey everyone, it's me, Ben Yard. Man, it's been two weeks since I, since I did any stream. But two weeks flew just like that. Um, so two Saturdays ago, I was out of town on a small vacation. Last Wednesday, I didn't stream because Ten Commandments was showing in theaters. It was the 65th anniversary of the movie. I never saw the movie before, but I knew it was very lengthy. Almost four hours. So when I finally sat down and saw the Ten Commandments, uh, I enjoyed it. It's a great film. Truly the best biblical film ever made. And I stand by that. As a as an experienced movie buff, I would say that it is the best biblical movie ever made. Uh, and last Saturday, I had to take my car in for an appointment. You know, doing that spring checkup. Uh, just getting, I, I had to pay for brake pads and rotors, so I couldn't stream last Saturday. So here we are, two weeks from the last stream, got my V8 in my hand, got my college boy dinner, which is a uh, microwavable burrito and two Hawaiian bread rolls. So I am good to go, and I totally forgot where we left off, because it's been two weeks. secret of your strength. I don't know. Maybe I just have fun fighting. Cool. I'll do that too. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They really didn't need Nightingale. I don't care. Okay. The fact that Repeat can cook is amazing. Hmm. Taking you down. Raging Dragon! Oh, Angelic Princess, grant us your This area is currently under control of the Imperial Knights. The Royal Guard. This is the Commandant's private force of elite knights. What are the Commandant's forces doing in a forest like this with Hopalon Blastia? I have no reason to answer your questions. And civilian activity is restricted by law in this area. Hmm. Be that as it may, why are you pointing that weapon at us like that? It on. What? Hold still. I'll make this quick. Oh, 
All they have is main So they're done for. That escalated quickly. Well, we're off to a good start. So the mysterious group of people was the Imperial Knights. Why did he attack us? Maybe because they're doing something here that they don't want anyone to know about? That's fair. You mean, with that Blastia? Maybe, yeah. Hmm. You said you were gonna come with us, so you better pull yourself together. I know. Watch out! Estelle! What did you just do? Same as what she did in Heliard. Estelle's power took the air and made it dissipate. You've got to stop doing crazy things like that. Agreed. I'm... I'm sorry. I just thought about how everyone was in danger, and before I knew it, my power... Yes. Her power is starting to unconsciously respond to her feelings. That last attack came from that Blastia. It was aiming straight at us. Which means that Estelle will end up using her power every time we're shot at. But then... What should I do? Hey, hey, you saved us, didn't you? Yeah. If that had hit us head on, we would have been goners for sure. We should be mad at the fact that they shot at us, not that Estelle protected us. Very, very solid point. We've sworn to settle Estelle's problems along with <clears throat> the world's problems. Everything we're doing right now is towards that purpose. We shouldn't let the details get in our way. But won't Pharaoh get mad if she keeps doing stuff like this? Whether it's by a Blastia or by Pharaoh, I don't want to be barbecued alive. Come on, this is simple. We just have to do something about that Blastia, right? That's right. Let's pummel the jerks who are controlling that Blastia! Alright, let's go. Try to keep a low profile. <clears throat> if you keep standing around, we're gonna leave you behind. Close behind me, Estelle. My magic will protect you if they attack with the Hoplon Blastia. But you'd be putting yourself in danger, Rita. We're all in danger, so relax. Or maybe you don't believe I can do it. No, no. I'm just worried about you. Well, I'm worried about you. Those two sure have come a long way. Yes, they have. Their little fights were fun, though. Oh, well. I guess this way is healthier for everyone. Yeah, I think so, too. Hey, Peanut Gallery! Shut up, or we'll leave you behind. She's still got a couple of rough spots to work on, though. Yeah, no kidding.
guess I should go with that last year. Soon enough. Makes no sense, really. Actually, you know what? I think Carol needs it more. So I did have to cross that bridge. Uh, so. Certain staff. Still learning. Nothing. He needs one more, then he can learn this one. So we're on track. Wait, could I go up there? Oh, I didn't know that. Alright, before 
I go up there, let me go back to the lower bridge and see where that leads. Because so I don't want to miss any weapons from Treasure or armor from Treasure Chest. to go up on that. Got it. So why can't I hop down here? Alright, so I guess I gotta go across that top bridge first. Yeah! <laughs> 
That's what happens when I get serious. Now then, at least we don't have to worry about being shot at anymore. We might have stopped the knights, but we still gotta deal with this guy. Hmm. He's not a Hermes Blastia, but the formula's been encrypted. Care to explain in English? Basically, without a key to decode the formula, we can't turn it off. So I assume breaking the code isn't... No, it's not easy. Even if I could break it, that would take time. Hmm, maybe if I... I don't think this will take much time at all. Wait, but you said... Help! What are you doing here? Perhaps he is this Blastia's engineer. No! I mean, I am an engineer and all, but I, I, I was just following orders! I, I swear I never wanted to get involved in something like this! Undo the code and stop this Blastia now! Yes, of course, right away! I'm sorry for surprising you back there. Huh, duh. I knew right away you were only trying to make me jump. Oh? It worked. At least that's one problem down. Now we can go to Murzo once the weather clears. Ah! Yuri! I could use your help here, kid. Uh, right. Should have known they'd have another one of these. Yuri, don't tell me you did that to keep me from using my power. Yes. Don't you think that was a bit reckless? I'm sorry. It was my fault. Hey, you did the same for us before, right? Well, now we're even. But... Estelle, perhaps a simple thing... Thank you. Moving right along. We'd better do something about that other Blastia. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know... Hey! Fast, little bugger. We better catch him quick. Please wait. Patty is... Rita. I'm sorry. I let him get away. Don't worry about it. I'll come up with something. Yeah, but you said it wasn't easy. As long as the knights aren't around, we don't have to worry so much about how long it takes. Besides, who do you think you're dealing with? I'm the genius mage, Rita Mordio. If it's me versus a Blastia... I'll win or die trying. That's a ride or die chick. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Uh, what are you doing? If we leave it like this, someone could use it again. I'll just make a few adjustments. Nothing shines quite so bright as a young person with something they're willing to risk their life for. For somebody who stood on death's doorstep, saying you'll do something or die trying isn't just a figure of speech. Huh? Death's doorstep? Didn't you say you almost died during the Great War? Huh. Forgot I mentioned that. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. Words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. That's fair. You okay, old man? Here I am, running off at the mouth. I get a bit sentimental when I start digging up the past. Come on! Onward! Ready to go?
trying to get into the, the bridge and we just went on the other side instead. Everyone, take cover! Is everyone okay? I'll live. Me too. This time the old man looks a little worse for wear. Hey, old man, wanna sit this one out? We can go on ahead. If you leave me behind, there ain't any place else for me to go. Come on, even Yuri wouldn't leave you here for good. And anyway... You could always go back to Altos, couldn't you? Hmm. There's always that, I suppose. They're... Oh, I say it. Not the same as you guys. Oh, really? <laughs> well, if you're okay, old man, let's get over to that Blastia before it recharges and attacks us again.
That's what happens when I get serious. <gasps> wow, okay. This will make good practice. Let me at him! Stun man! Distract your pain shot! Never Take this! this. The sign of victory! Yeah. Alright! Hey, that kind of hurt. Wow, okay. Watch my back. I think it's huge. <laughs> I was startled by that. I mean, I did save, so if I lost the fight, I can always pick it back up, right? I got no time to think. Just beat him senseless and you'll win. How back could this guy be? Level 62. 
My guys are like in their early 40s. This guy is not resistant to anything, not even weak to anything. Regenerate? Okay. I'm so glad we ran away from that. Yeah, that guy was definitely gonna kick our ass. Wait, resurrection isn't... What? But they're dead, why, why couldn't I use that? Oh, because she doesn't have any TP, that's why. Go back to that. Oh, you still got a ways to go. Things whip. Oh, perfect. Quick trigger. Got a transform up. You're almost there. You want that to play plus one. Still learns regenerate, but I don't really know. Oh, that's regenerate. Okay. Resurrection, but it's like it won't tell it won't let me select that itself. That blasty has been making some weird noises. It's charging up air. It won't be able to fire again for a while. If we hurry up and sneak past, the enemy will be utterly helpless. Hey Stephanie Reeves, thanks for liking the, the stream. You don't seriously think that, do you?
need to stand firm and hold out. Agreed. And here we go. You'll be gone soon enough. stayed back on the ship after all. I... If I'm just gonna keep causing trouble for you guys like this, maybe I should've... <laughs> Enough with the indecision and grumbling. We've come this far, haven't we? We're all friends here. Didn't we tell you not to worry? Friends. My, it's not every day we get to hear you say such sweet things, Rita. I know. Shut up! Come on, we have to stop that Hoplon Blastia. Okay, okay. You all heard the lady. Friends. Patty, what are you doing? Do you want to get left behind? No, I'm coming. I'm coming too. After all, you guys are my friends. That 
was a nice little break. You'll be gone soon enough. Take this! As you will! Those who obstruct the work of the knights shall be treated as criminals! <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. How does it look, Rita? Just like I thought. This formula is protected by a code as well. Think you can break it? I said I'd do it or die trying, didn't I? This has nothing to do with getting us to Miorzo anymore. There's no way in hell I'll let those idiot knights go on using these poor Blastia like this. Okay, I'll leave this to you guys. And where are you off to, Cal? I'm gonna keep watch down below, just in case more royal guards show up. Well then, I'll come along and help out. I'm going too. It looks like Patty's cheered up. I hope so. And you know, the guy's enthusiasm actually kind of scares me. It's Yuri's influence. I guess the rest of us will stay here for now. Yuri himself is as laid back as can be, though. True. Looks like it'll be a while before she can crack that code. Royal Guard, huh? I wonder what those guys were planning to do with the Blastia anyway. The Knights have come back! We've gotta hold our ground here. Yes. I want birds! Well then, here come the riffraff. It seems they're not going to let us rest. They're just waiting for us to get tired. Rita, I shall defend this place. This is the last thing I've Nurse!
time! You can't possibly... Rita! Can't possibly what? Fight them all off? Do you have no faith in me? In us? Succeed or die trying, wasn't it? That's right. We won't give in. Rita, do what you can and save that Blastia. Aye, we're gonna do our best. We're going to fight them all off, so hang in there. You guys... ...are the best friends I've ever had. Oh. I will. I'll fix this thing if it's the last thing I do! Intermission. I'm kidding. And just so you know, I'm expecting the same from you guys! Oh, man. Oh, hell. Guess I'll give it all I got, too. Will you join the Shining Youth Brigade or something? Looks that way. I'm gonna do it! This looks like it'll be a long fight. Don't let your focus slip. No going through. And another! Take this! Ah! Go on, Jade! Princess Anne just went over this! Take this! Take Because the Blastia stopped? I wonder what they were trying to do. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Now we've kept our promise to Tord. Judith, you take it from here. Okay. Homeland of the Christian people. Oh, right. It's definitely impressive. It's as unexpected as a dandelion blooming on the bottom of the sea. With her pirate references again. Looks like they won't keep it open for us very long. We should hurry. City. Who'd have guessed? Forget the city. What about that huge thing? It looks like a living creature. It's a floating jellyfish. It's an Antilochea, though not one I've spoken to. Antilochea? That is something like that swallow an entire city. That I don't know. I had absolutely no idea a city like this existed. That's because Miorzo cut off contact with the outside world ages ago. It's not going to attack us or anything if we get closer, right? Don't worry. As long as Baul is with us, we should be allowed to enter.
Are they welcoming us? Now this is a surprise. These visitors really are from the outside. Well, well. So it was you who called on Miorzo. And what is this? How strange. What curious ornaments you wear. Hey, it's not polite to stare, you know. How are such children as yourselves able to come here? She's talking about you, Patty. You too, Rita. Is this monster an Entelikea, perhaps? Someone who descended to the Earth some years ago, right? I believe Judith. Yes, Judith was your name. There was something you had to attend to, and... Are you about finished? We would like to meet with the Elder. Please feel free to do as you wish. Okay, so they're a bit weird. That's actually called rude. <laughs> You're one to talk, Rita. All Christians are pretty much like that. Like what? Like Judith. Oh, easygoing, unafraid. We are dreamers and optimists, for better or worse. The Critians who live on the surface are like that too. Living together with humans, the Critians on the surface have lost some of their naivete. So is the Elder like that too? How should I put it? He's the perfect Elder for weird people. Hmm. different than I imagined. Oh man, I totally agree. What's so different? You know, more like... I thought they'd be more like you, Judith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm seeing far less skin than I expected. I mean, come on! So that's what the two of you were looking forward to? How juvenile. What are you looking at me for? I was talking about our personality. Seriously, let's have some decency here. Is it me, or are you a little disappointed too, Yuri? I'd like to ask the same thing, Yuri. It's you. Ah, man. Never would have imagined there'd be a city in a place like this. There's so many types of Blastia I've never seen before. Looks like the Critians really were the ones who created Blastia in the first place. Yes, seeing all this Blastia makes it very easy to believe that. It sure would be nice if we happened upon a way to do something about your power, Mrs. Stell. Really, that would be nice, but... It's not working. It doesn't have a core. It's just the body. This city has stopped using Blastia. Yeah. What you see here is what everyone throughout long ago. Because that was the path we chose. It's been a long time, Elder. So you were the cause of all this commotion outside. You've returned to us. These children are humans who are traveling with me. These children? Hmm. This is Blastia, is it not? Yes, it's my Bodhi Blastia that I use. Hmm. I thought that Earth dwellers had stopped using Blastia, like us. Do you not use the Blastia here because it uses a special formula too? There are no normal or special types of Blastia. Blastia is made by crushing apatheia and processing those pieces with technology to produce cores and through the absorption of air. Hold it. 
Cores are made from crushed apatheia? Indeed, that is what the stories say. It appears apatheia was too powerful in its original form. And apatheia has come from dead entelecheias. Hmm. Even without that power, it is a stone more valuable than any precious gem. This is why its power was restrained by breaking it into pieces and carving formulas into it. And thus, its numbers were also increased. Our legends tell... Because he felt uncomfortable talking about it, you think? Yeah, because they they come from dead Entelechia. Elder, there are many things I'd like to ask you about. We're trying to find out what sort of role Blastia played in ancient times, and if Blastia ever brought disasters to this world, we'd like to know how they might have been stopped. Yorzo must still have some folklore, right? Perhaps you could tell us what you know. Hmm. Very well. My home would be a better place to speak of such things. Please go inside and wait for me there. Hey there! Where are you going? I was in the middle of my daily walk. I'll return to my house before too long. <sighs> Apatheia, Blastia, air disturbances, Entelechia. It looks like everything's connected. We might even see more connections once he's told us the Critian folklore. The Elder's house is a large building with a differently colored roof than all the others. Gotcha. Patty, we're leaving. Oh yeah, I'm coming too.
So. Shadow play. He's using that. Scroll up.
He's the one who told us to wait for him here. And it's been a whole day since I rested. I guess the Critians really are different. They don't seem to be in any great rush to get things done, that's for sure. I know, they certainly are weird, aren't they? Actually, you're kind of like that too, Judith. Yes, she is. That's funny, I don't see that at all. Seems like Patty'd fit right in here too. Hmm, might be nice to live here. Ah, there you are. Welcome back. I've kept you waiting. Now, please, step this way, if you will. Huh? This is the very means by which the lore of Miorzo is passed on. But, uh, it's just a wall. Judith, use the Nagig as you touch the wall, and City of Dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension. City of Dreams Veiled in Mist. Reality's Extension? What's happening? Whoa. So the Nagik can do this kind of stuff too. You know about the Nagig. Through its power and the secret phrase handed down, the wall's true form is revealed. Th this painting is kind of creepy. The Not Critia. Really. Stewards of Wisdom. Founders of the mighty Garaios and ancient sages, our misbegotten wisdom has sown only the seeds of ruin. The Blastia we created granted us blessings, but also blighted the air, lifeblood of this world. Then Rita was right. There were disturbances in the air in the past. You think this is showing a disturbance in the air? It looks more like the air is trying to eat the planet. Hmm. It is said that a great mass of air threatened to swallow the very planet whole. The blight grew ever stronger and brought forth a cataclysm. In our terror, we gave a name to the cataclysm. The Adafagos. Adafagos? The world united to challenge the Adafagos and banish the loathsome power which created it. Hey, could that be the end to Lakea? It does look a bit like monsters and humans fighting something off together. Though the Garayo civilization was lost, the Autophagos was quelled in the end. The fact that we are all still here today is evidence enough of that. So then, is this painting showing the Autophagos being brought under control? What is that? It looks like a large ring. What is that? I can't say. I've wondered that myself. Hey, what's the last thing it says there? Judy? Hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the child of the full moon. The Atafagos disappeared into the void. What? The world's prayers. Life faded from the children of the full moon. Our world was preserved. But the story shall remain here for generations to tell of our sin. 240th year of Asul. What's that supposed to mean? There is no further explanation of what each of these phrases may mean. Our ancestors created the Blastia, which led to the downfall of their entire civilization. They then chose to abandon the Blastia and sever their ties with the outside world. It's now! Let her go. This is all the lore of Miorzo. Thanks. You've given us a lot to think about. You know what's helpful? There's this magic cucumber that'll turn any dish into a gourmet meal. I think we'll pass. Could we trouble you for a place to rest a while? I feel we may need to impose on you until our friend has calmed down. Hmm. <laughs> you are free to use the house next door. No one lives there right now. Thank you. Okay, let's be going. Everything the Elder said is true, isn't it? His interpretation of the murals might not be perfect, but with all he told us, it was very convincing. We knew this was a global problem once we talked to Pharaoh. He granted us time because he knew how we would react when we saw this. He probably wanted to show us humanity ain't cut out to handle the situation. And to make us give up on Estelle. So everything's just going according to Pharaoh's plan, then? 
I will not let that happen. Never. I won't give up on her. The Cataclysm? The Autophagos? If that legend's true, then maybe the power of the Child of the Full Moon isn't the only thing to blame for bringing out the Autophagos. But what about the hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the Children of the Full Moon part? Oh, the Child of the Full Moon was a sacrifice. Maybe they averted danger by killing the cause of the Autophagos, the Children of the Full Moon. But, but wait! Aren't the Hermes Blastia the real cause? Can't we just stop those? It might not be just the Hermes Blastia. That legend made it sound like all Blastia disturbed the world's air. Right, Rita? The Elders said that Blastia are Blastia. There are no normal ones or special ones. I think that means the only thing that's different is how much air each formula uses. Even the Blastia we're using? Bodhi Blastia are special, but all Blastia utilize air in a formula. They're all the same. And formulas need air to work. The Hermes Technique, the Children of the Full Moon, they're probably only part of the danger. With more and more Blastia, the Autophagos will awaken. This is what the Entelikea are afraid of. Hmm. That's what I was worried about. I didn't want to admit it. Blastia couldn't be bad. The people who used them for evil were the bad ones. That's what I always believed. But I was wrong. So does that mean we have to stop every Blastia? Like the people here in Miorzo did? Aye. We should toss every Blastia in the trash. Gotta row our boats with oars, too. That's impossible. We need Blastia for our everyday lives. But do we, though? Barrier Blastia, Aqua Blastia, Bodhi Blastia, too. Yeah, you're right. So, it's really not possible? I couldn't take on a really tough monster if I didn't have this. Yeah. I wish we could use Blastia without worrying about consuming air, but I guess that's just a dream. The Rizomata Formula. What's that? All things exist due to the sublimation, reduction, formation, and dispersion of air. Some think that a still undiscovered theory could freely manipulate those essential mechanisms of air. Formulating that theory is the ultimate goal of current magical research by mages around the world. So that's the Rizomata formula? If it's found, manipulating air will become so much easier. Of course, we need a formula to reconstruct air from power that was originally converted from air. But Estelle's power is actually directly manipulating air. Estelle is the closest thing to the Rizomata formula. If we can use a formula to interfere with and neutralize Estelle's power... I don't really get it, but... If you work out that formula thing, then Estelle can live in peace, right? So by that logic, if we could control the excess of air, we could prevent provoking the autophagos. Awesome! Hmm. Sounds difficult, but awesome. So we're supposed to go looking for some formula that researchers all over the world can't find? Now you're really dreaming. I will figure out this formula. For Estelle and for me. Yeah, you do that. Huh? Raven, where are you going? For a walk. All this talk about saving the world, the ultimate goal of magical research. This conversation's a little much for old Raven to keep up with. That formula sounds nice and all, but the air is getting worse as we're sitting here. Yeah. 
For now, we have to find whoever is making the Hermes Blastia. Otherwise, it'll be too late, just like Pharaoh said. But how are we supposed to find whoever that is? If we follow whoever's looking for Apatheia, they should lead us right to them. Cores are made from Apatheia, after all. So Flynn and Nan and their friends? Yeah. I wonder if we'll have to fight them. That's kind of up to them. is working why this one is fitted with a core something's written here warp blastia so in other words someone used this to leave miorzo it looks that way didn't they get rid of all the blastia here there shouldn't be any functioning right yes at least that's how it should be Functional blast here be doing here. It appears that someone's left the town. Estelle. Where's Estelle? Wait, and where'd the old man go? Huh? You don't think both of them use this? What do you mean? The Blastia in our towns should have all lost their cores back in ancient times. The core was probably brought in from outside the town. It should require adjustment to function properly, but Estelle's an exception to the rules. If she can interact directly with air, she might also be able to reconstruct air to fit the core's formula. But why would she... Elder, could you get everyone to help us search to see if our friends are in town? Mm, very well. Let's look for them too. I never should have left Estelle alone. Maybe I couldn't have done anything, but I should have stayed with her. She was so depressed. You're not responsible for this. Beating yourself up over it won't bring her back. I know. And what happened to Raven? He was acting a little strange. You think they're working together? I really doubt they'd both disappear at the same time. But why just the two of them? them are nowhere to be found. I wonder what could have happened to them. Anyway, let's get back to the surface and look for them. But even if we do, the world's a big place. It's reckless to just go searching blindly. Perhaps the two of them went on a walk? A walk that involves leaving the town without saying anything to us? Not a chance. Well... Only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. And words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Out. Ah, well. Just when things were getting good. Just who are you, anyway? What does the head of the knights want with you? I only just remembered that. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hurry! We have to follow them! 
I understand how you're feeling, but please try to calm down. What? Aren't you worried? Of course I'm worried. That's why we should calm down and think rationally, right? Correct. Oh, right. Yeah. I see. I'm sorry. Got any ideas? Ah, yes. The master of Miorzo might have some idea. He's an Entelikea after all. Maybe he felt the flow of air from the Blastia. Did you hear it? Could you tell us where it was? To the west. A sea of sand. A town? It's not too clear, but a desert town. I think it's Jormgen. That's the town in the sands of Kagor, where we met Duke before. The sands? Why would they go to a place in the middle of nowhere? Let's head there now. You're leaving, then? I am. You don't need to shoulder such a burden. Haven't you suffered enough? Thank you, Elder. But I'm not suffering anymore. Hmm. Hmm. If you went into the outside world, you might understand, too. What's happening? What's going on? It's just a pile of ruins. Yeah. This didn't just happen in a few days. This is like hundreds of years. Maybe there was a huge fire that... Hmm, no. Not a chance of that happening, huh? Quiet. Someone's here. Duke. This could be our clue about the Rizomato formula. That's the dragon from the Weezand of Kodos. He's traveling with Duke, huh? I've got questions for that guy, but we have to find Estelle first. They got away. Huh? There's no time. This isn't what I would have chosen, but so be it. Alexei, what are you doing here? Ah, looking for the princess? I'm impressed you found your way here. Do you know where Estelle is? What do you think you're doing? Is this your idea of a joke, Commandant? I am at a loss as to how to thank you. Your pitiful sense of justice has allowed me to work with little interruption. Long ago, there was the pirate Ifri, and now we have the likes of Barbos and Rago. They were each of use in their own fashion, but you have performed magnificent work, far surpassing theirs. You're some of the most talented and foolish performers I've seen. What? However, the time for fooling around is over. It is time for you to exit the stage. So that's it, huh? It was you pulling everybody's strings all this time. Well, I'm not laughing, Alexei. Commandant! Huh. And yet another fool arrives. Ooh. Flynn! Commandant! How could you? You're the pride of the Imperial Knights. How could you commit treason? This is not treason. I am merely following the path of one who holds true authority. And you just intend to betray the trust of His Highness Yoder? His Highness? Yes. I think he'll be relinquishing his rank soon. This is madness. Milord, all is in readiness. Jaeger, come on. Jaeger! Well done. I am headed for Bactian as planned. I will leave this situation to you. And Yoder's fate as well. Yeah, you bet, my lord. Alexei, wait! Who said you could leave? Stand back. 
If you try to stop us, get the hell out of the way! Let's fight them now. Your princess friend is at the shrine of Bactian as well, you know. What did you say? You'll be too late if you don't hurry! Oh. Go after Alexei and Jaeger. Sir! Alexei! You won't get away with this! I'll have no fury like a little girl scorned. Yuri, come on! Yuri? Yuri Lowell, give yourself up! What? Oh. The Shrine of Bactian is said to be located on the Hypionian continent. Hypionia. The continent east of Desier. The Egathor Forest is there. Aren't we just there? Are we actually gonna trust what Jaeger said? If that's where Alexei is headed, then Estelle's gotta be there. We don't have much information, so I guess we'll just have to go check it out. I. We can't just sit here and ignore that guy! What's the matter, Patty? Actually, come to think of it, didn't he say something about Eifried? That man is the cause of it all. If we take him out, we can get Estelle back. But what about Raven? I'll bet he delivered Estelle to them and then just took off! No, Raven... He wouldn't do that! Well, the facts are that she's been kidnapped and he's nowhere to be seen. right it's possible he was captured as well well whatever let's get going Yuri Yuri Flynn a word very well let's talk over there just what the hell are you doing what happened to advancing as a knight and fixing the Empire from within? You've been nothing more than a damn puppet on Alexei's string! Don't you dare tell me that the Dawn and Bellius died for nothing more than that! He was there working alongside you this whole time, Flynn! How could you possibly not know? I'm sorry. Why, though? Did you go along with it because Yoder trusted Alexei? His Highness is not to blame. I had total confidence in Alexei. The responsibility is mine. So your pursuit of the Apatheia at Nordopolica was on Alexei's orders, I presume? Yeah. You'd better start talking. Tell me what happened. There's no reason to worry about exposing the Commandant now. The conversion of Heliord into a military installation. The abuse of the residents at Mantake. All of Timor's activities. The forbidden development of New Blastia. All of these were carried out under the Commandant's under Alexei's orders. Well, you've grown up to be a model knight. Unquestioned allegiance to your country. That's nice. The Commandant. Alexei was not always this way. You of all people should remember. Those who are just will lead lives of prosperity. That was the ideal Alexei once held dear. Well, yesterday's home runs don't win today's games. That was why I... But all it's done for you is help you lose sight of your original intentions. <clears throat> Not that I have much right to preach to you, after I let them run off with Estelle like that. No. That never would have happened if I hadn't been blind to Alexei's true nature. I had grown far too used to simply obeying orders like a good knight, even when I doubted them. It was my lack of thought that brought this about. Since when is moaning and whining part of a knight's job description? You impudent! No. It is as she says. I must shoulder this responsibility. It is up to me to rescue Lady Esteles. Whoa, what? Captain! What should be done about His Highness? 
If anything were to happen to him, the Empire... I know. That's why this brigade is concentrating all our efforts on ensuring his safety. But, Captain... Please. Hmm. Damn it, Flynn. I didn't yell at you to have you turn around and start telling me what to do. Brave Vesperia is going to rescue Estelle. Then let me join you. Let me be a member of Brave Vesperia. Yes! It is about time. Captain? A knight joining a guild? Don't make me laugh. I was unable to prevent the Royal Guard from abducting Her Highness. I am duty-bound to correct this wrong by saving her. Give it up. You know you have no place in a guild. But if you want to come with us, I won't stop you. Yuri! But you know what you have to do, right? As soon as we've rescued Her Highness, I will return to protect Prince Yoder. I cannot allow the Empire to be thrown into disorder. I'm sorry, Sodia, Witcher. I must ask you to take care of the Prince. I'll be back as soon as I can. Please tell His Highness the same. Understood. <sighs> Yuri. Thanks. Same here. You had me worried there. It's good to see you're back to your old self. Alexei. So he's the one who's been advancing Hermes Blastia technology. Yeah, it's taken a while, but everything points back to him. All right, next stop, the Shrine of Bactian. We're gonna get Estelle and Raven out of there and show Alexei just who he's messing with. Agreed. Yeah. Estelle, which is a, a pisser, so he's a level 43, he's using Ares, devastating combos. I'm putting her at point. Makes sense. Uh, edit. Yeah, pretty much. Just who does that idiot commandant think he is? Barbos, go even Jaeger. Alexei was behind all of them. And now he's taken Estelle. I won't let him do this. I am going to rip him to shreds the moment we get Estelle away from him. He must receive his due punishment. We can't let him get away. Treating Lady Esteles in that manner. Alexei is no longer the man I trusted. He's evil. That's all there is to it. 
and he will not change. It's time for some payback. And like all payback, it'll be a bitch. Just like Alexa. I guess it's too much to ask for if they left the treasure chest. out in the desert. Do you think that Entelikea is friendly to humans? It's the same as Baul and Belius. Entelikea can use language so we can befriend them. Right. Alexei send for it? Huh. Ooh, well, what is that? It's definitely an Enzalakea, but... the Entelikea Astal. Astal. Alexei is still trying to get Apatheia, it seems. It looked like it got away, though. Yeah, it looked like it was forced into those ruins. Those ruins definitely appear to be the temple back yet. I wonder what Alexei's plotting this time. what Alexei's planning to do. Right. We're just here to rescue Estelle. But if we get too close like this, we'll end up like a stall. Let's land a little bit away from it and approach on the ground. Novel idea. Worm. Can't he even swat a few pesky flies? Alexei, what have you done to Lady Esteles? What does it look like? Give Estelle back! Estelle, come on, wake up! Estelle! No
Princess's life will fade each time she uses her power. If you care for her, then do not interfere further. Alexei! You bastard! We will get her back. his movements. Prince Yoder dispatched us, saying that you could probably use our help. That little prince never could mind his own damn business. Well, what about you and all that pathetic bluster and bravado? Sorry, but unlike you well-bred aristocrats, I'm not perfect. Whoa. Hey, you Whoa, guys alright? Oh, uh, huh? They came to save us. Apparently Yoder told them to. Alexei's inside the temple. Let's hurry up after him. Captain, please come with us and return to His Highness's side at once. Sodia? It is difficult for me to say this, but this place is far too dangerous. The one we most need to protect for the sake of the Empire right now is Prit. I know that. I know that, as a knight, that is what I should be doing. I know that all too well. Then... But this is something I need to do myself. For Her Highness, and for Alexei. Please, let me go. But... Take us there. It must be pretty damn inconvenient to be a knight, huh? How can someone like you, how can the captain possibly consider someone like you his friend? Our captain is the ideal to which we all aspire. He's the epitome of an imperial knight. And yet, for some reason when he's with you, he's not himself. Just like this last time. Whatever. If you're looking for someone to have a heart to heart with, go bug Applehead over here. We don't have time to sit around and play guidance counselor for you. Damn. Put her in her place. A Applehead? That's it! Sodia, no, don't! Listen well, Yuri Lowell. Your very existence is hurting our captain. Stay away from him. Jealous. She's pretty intense. All right, now we've done everything we came here to do. We ask that you please take care of the captain. Platoon, fall out! We must hurry to rejoin the brigade! Yuri! Come on, we have to catch up with Flynn. Right. If she's forced to use her power, then it'll be too late to save her or fix the air. That bastard! Using her like some kind of tool! He's gonna pay! Come on! Partnered with Flynn and Patty. Wait, where did Flynn and Patty? Oh, wait. Flynn went ahead, but where's Patty? If we don't go after Alexei, that Antilochia we saw is gonna wind up in Apatheia. Even from this far away, Astal's wounds look terrible. He might not hold out much longer. I guess not even the Antilochia are a match for Heracles. Maybe that was Alexei's reason for building it in the first place. Naturally. There's no way he'd need something that powerful just to take care of the guilds. Whatever the case, we have to catch Alexei and stop him before it's too late for us.
more to go. Uh, that will be a winner. Carol. to send his knights to help us. To help us? Don't you mean to help Flynn and Estelle? Coming here is reckless enough, but sending help is even crazier. Doesn't that little prince understand his own position? That's the kind of person His Highness is. I'm sure that what's happened has caused him exceptional grief. Are you referring to Estelle? Or perhaps Alexei? <sighs> Both. Let's hurry. Hey, slow down. What are you saying? This is no time to be taking it easy. We don't have any clue where enemies could be lurking, so calm down. You're right. I apologize. Yuri, you guys are much more level-headed than... Don't worry about it. We're all in this together here. They made it sound like Eifried was one of his men. It is true that the knights employ guilds on rare occasions, but... We don't know whether Eifried worked for him, right? In any case, that conversation's on the back burner for now. Let's go. Good point. Oh, now they're back in the party. Oh, good. Ooh, 35 out of 66.
I don't know what went on there, but I'm seeing like Flynn learning two new moves and Carol learning one new one. It's like this. This is a cool team. Alexei has wicked plans for the Apatheia. But what exactly are those plans? Old man. So, the beard won't stay on for too long. Get ready. I'm taking you down. There's still a lack of devotion. You're as stiff as ever. That's why you... Yes, indeed. They keep you in night swords, I don't know why.
hope you can. Well, you keep thinking like that, and I'm sure you will. Order two? Likely so. But being unaware of the nature of my subordinates was my error. I'm not fit for command. At least you understand your mistake. I swear that I will correct that mistake. I wanted both of them together. See how bad it feels. Ooh, there's a lot of enemies on the field. Let's go.
next room look like this too. All these rooms look the same. I wonder if they're all like this. I'm gonna go check out what's ahead. Repeat. I've heard that this kind of construction is intended to humble visitors, so this must be the approach to the shrine. We don't really have time to be dawdling. It's okay, relax. all look the same from here on out. Rapide's sense of smell doesn't seem to be working too well either. I see. We can't afford to get lost in here. Here, use these. Let's make a map as we go. Y you're always so well prepared. Carol, can you do this? Yeah, I'm good with maps. Leave it to me. We'll be in a lot of trouble if you mess up, you know. Don't say that. Come on, everything will be fine. <laughs> I thought I would catch the other one. There's still a lack of devotion in the purest spirits ever. That's why you Yes, indeed. Get ready. I'm taking you down. There's still a lack of devotion in the purest stiffness ever. That's why you... Action. Yeah. 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 Y
gotta have to do it on the team. I gotta try to keep up. That's over. Much better. Nice. We should really enjoy these little times together.
You'll be gone soon enough. Try it! You like that? On the map, it shows that there's a room to the left. Wow. Together now!
can't believe it even now. No, I think it's really that I don't want to believe it. I looked up to him for so long. I've desperately hoped that this was just some kind of mistake. Sorry, but I already know the answer to that. I know. Besides, the way he has treated Lady Esteles can't be explained away as simply a mistake. No objection there. Lynn, you, uh, know what Yuri's done, don't you? You mean what he did to Rago and Kumor? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to arrest Yuri. At least, not right now. Then you mean you're going to arrest him after you bring Estelle back to the capital? Under Imperial law, the things that Yuri has done are serious crimes. After all, he killed two of the Empire's leading figures out of a personal grudge. But Yuri was... I know. Yuri certainly didn't do those things for his own sake. That's what I was about to say. Did it more out of necessity rather than personal gain. But that's how the law works. The corruption in the Empire is entirely irrelevant here. Are you perhaps in doubt? Confused about which way is right? I don't know. Is what I'm feeling doubt? And they say, I don't know. That is confusion. Hey, what are you doing? You're gonna get left behind, you know. Ugh, sorry. My, she's scary. Let's go. Wow, it just came out of nowhere. Uh, I'm gonna do it! minutes to the three hour mark. <laughs> What's the secret of your strength? I don't know. Maybe I just have fun fighting.
Okay, I missed. You'll be gone soon enough. What is this a statue of? With that kind of shape, I can't tell whether it's supposed to be a human or a monster. This is a temple after all. This is probably a statue of whatever deity the temple was dedicated to. You know, it might just be a statue of the Entelikea we saw outside. Huh? It couldn't be. I mean, a monster, that is. It's a... but they don't even look alike. No, I think it's possible. The Entelikea have powers beyond those of humans, and can speak in our language. 
It's not strange to think that humans would have worshipped them in ancient times. The relationship between the Entelekea and humans might be closer than we thought. Maybe they drifted apart during the long, long passage of time, eventually leading to the situation we find ourselves in now. If that's the case, I wonder just how much we've forgotten. I'm sure there are things in this world that should never be forgotten. Patty? I think that I prefer the distance we have now to the cozy relationship we had back then. Oh, that's corny. Okay. I won't lose! Ha! Try it Pushing it! Time. Let's make this quick. Here we go. Gather Come on! 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 Come on!
So is that okay? I don't know what this is, but it looks complicated. This is a barrier that's been locked up somehow with an encrypted formula. Can you open it? It uses an ancient technology that's barely been studied at all. Even I've only seen something like this in books. I couldn't even guess how long a thorough analysis might take. I'm guessing we can't just force our way through. Locks usually aren't placed on anything that's easily broken into. Yeah, you're right. Wait, how do you think Alexei got through here? He probably forced the lock using his spells. The power of the child of the full moon. Which means he made her use her power again. Lady Esteliz's power. <sighs> Now, these guys make a lot of assumptions. Someone's here. Duke, why are you here? You? How is the young lady, the child of the full moon? Alexei's got her somewhere up ahead! I see. So he has made his move. Are you here because of him, too? The air crane in this region has become severely imbalanced. I have come to restrain it. By restrain? You mean you actually have a way to do that? To quiet the air crane, the cause of the imbalance must... Just come out and say it. You mean kill Estelle. What? That's enough. What is it with blaming all the world's problems on a single girl? An unstable child of the full moon cannot be ignored. Blaming on the... Blaming the world's problems on a single... On a single girl. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of common these days. You're as hard-headed as Pharaoh. I thought as a human you'd see things differently. Our common bond as humans is nothing. A single life cannot be privileged over the fate of the world. Yeah, never mind that without a bunch of those single lives, there'd be no world. Listen, she may be a bumbling, sheltered excuse for a princess, but she's one of ours. Yeah! She's none of your concern, so back off! Do you say that knowing just how great a threat her existence poses? What we know has got nothing to do with it. Our motto is always do what's right. He is definitely into this guild thing. And if that means having to get up close and personal with you, then so be it. Unless you want to join our guild too. Very well. The time has come to show me the resolve that so impressed Pharaoh. Oh no. This is Dane Nomos. It is the only manner in which the air may be quieted. Raise it and calm your mind. The sword will take care of the rest. Dane Nomos. Duke, wait! Dane Nomos. That's the name of the sword of the Imperial line that's been missing all this time. What are you doing with it? Why does something like that have the power to control the air? Who are you? The answers to those questions are not what you should be seeking now. Good point. Go, before you are too late. Spoiler alert, Duke is the endgame boss. Just want to throw that out there. Soon, you will learn for yourselves the true weight of the burden borne by the Entelechea. <sighs> He's a cool guy, but way too moody. Uh, I don't think he shows enough emotion, but okay. If my memory serves me right, we also ran into him in Gasparost. Who is he? I don't know. I can't even tell if he's a friend or a foe. The child of the full moon, the resolve that impressed Pharaoh? Just who the hell is this Duke guy? Well, judging from what he says, it seems he's in contact with Pharaoh. And he has the sword Prince Yoder's been looking for. 
I don't like this. Yeah, but why would he just lend us something as important as De Nomos? I thought he was stubborn, but maybe he's actually willing to listen to reason. I wouldn't get my hopes up about that. We just have to do what we can for now. I meant to do that. Hold still. I'll make this quick.
you like that? That's what happens when I get I was trying to go around it, but okay.
There we go. Almost there, then he'll jump onto this one. Or that one, not sure. He's using that. Okay. All right, I saw that. So now he can use Dainomos. Mm -hmm. Where's that special? Here we go. Trigger a mystic art.
I don't want Carol to do nothing. Um, there we go. Let's go with assist. Kidding? She's fine. Now he's gonna learn Crimson X, right? She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. He's still learning. Okay, so everybody's good. What? <laughs> Blonde Universe? Increases resistance to status effects when Flynn is in the battle party. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's see if this will work. Huh. I figured that would work if nobody was around, but okay. I can't believe 
to sustain Nomos, a proof of Imperial secession. Yuri, you can become the Emperor! This is just for decoration. I wouldn't want to be the Emperor even if I could. You're so young, yet you have no ambition. Oh! A little girl put him in his place. Damn! Says the little girl playing dress up. Good counter. Good counter. A lost proof of imperial succession. When you get down to it, the loss of that sword was the source of all the fighting over the succession to the throne. Was Duke really the one who stole it? Hey, hey, give me a break. Don't go saying the imperial knights are going to claim the sword. I know. This isn't the time for that. Do you went around using that sword to control Air Crenae? Oh, so Duke's doing the same thing as the Antilochia. Maybe so. That sword, it produced the same phenomenon as Estelle did. Maybe the Rizamata formula was already worked out once before. But then, why was that information lost? Maybe it's related to the Cataclysm, like the way that the Blastia was lost. Why did that become an imperial treasure? There are tons of things we don't know about this sword. But let's wait to figure them out until we've settled things here. Right now, rescuing Estelle is our top priority. Agreed. Right, let's hurry. And I couldn't go there because it's blocked off. I can't go here because it's blocked off and there's no way in there. Mermaid cloak. Let me try the right. Judex. What? What does Judex do? Reduces the chance of guard break even when continuing to guard. Hmm. Okay. Reduces the chance of staggering when casting a spell. Recovers to you when a guard art skill hits an enemy. Ooh. Okay. There's hope for him yet. just darted towards me like there was nothing. I just realized something. Flynn could stagger people, so why isn't he going after art users? You can go after weak enemies like you normally do. There.
Couldn't block forever. I guess you can't stun something that big. Okay, so let me go back, because there was a room I missed. <gasps> oh, triple link. Oh, I hope I can make it.
Ooh, that was close. Yes, this is the room I missed. You can play. Okay. Oh, so he's done with his. Although, there's Shadow Fang. So, Shadow Fang and then Judex. Uh, oh, he's almost complete with his. There's not much she can learn. Uh, he's finishing up his. Also, I could stun him. Quite sweet. Almost. That that thing almost caught up with me. Alright, so here and then go up. Did I miss the treasure chest here? No. Here we are.
Okay. So if you jump down one of those holes, you'll end up in one of those rooms. supposed to fall down a hole I guess. It's just so weird that happened. That happened twice. Would it be so bad if I fell down this one? Oh, it lands me over there. It wouldn't... Okay. I was trying to see what would happen if I fell down and it went... And it gave me the option to go to the other side of that wall. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to fall down any more holes. Now that I know that it just... It's just a waste of time. Every time. Okay, no more falling down holes. So the way I did it, I went here. Not really sure what those things do then if if they don't stay lit. Whatever then. Ooh, that, that thing was pretty fast. Is there an end to this? Something underneath here? No. Okay. Had to make sure. Whew. Man, was that a journey. All right. We are three minutes away from the four hour mark. So. Let me say this again. I think this is a good stopping point. So here's the plan for the rest of the week. Uh, this Saturday, I'll pick this up again. I don't have anything going on this weekend, so there, there are no interruptions. Um, it's going to be a dry month this month so I'm definitely gonna have time to play more of this and other games oh so this Saturday I'm playing this next Wednesday 
is Iron Banner. Because April 13th is when Iron Banner kicks off again. It's kind of weird because Iron Banner was two, three weeks ago. So it's, it's coming around again pretty soon. And I kind of want to have my Warlock be more uh, PvP Crucible ready. Um, so yeah, next Wednesday, Iron Banner again. And then this Saturday, next week Saturday, not this coming Saturday, but next week Saturday, I'll jump back to this again. Um, GameStop is still saying that PS5s are still out of stock, so... I'll still be hanging around with the PS4 for a little lo while longer. Um, I, I hope to get a PS5 around my birthday, which is next month. Uh, but I'm not opposed to, you know, keeping the PS4. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what the schedule is like for the next couple weeks. Until then... Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you this Saturday.